Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson, we're Subpixel. It's Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern on the clock and the calendar. It's time to play some games, have a chill time, talk about gaming. Joining us as always is o Wilbur's Crispers. You out there, buddy boy? Um, you know, I'm here to talk about gaming and um, that's about it. So don't push me for anything else. Gotcha, okay. Um, hello? Hello. I'm Ian. Uh, sorry, I don't know who that was, but Will's here and he's ready to talk about gaming. We're going to be playing some uh, Supreme Commander. Um, sorry, I'm just getting things set up on my side. This is an old game. We're having to use Game Ranger, which is this crazy tool that basically lets you play local LAN multiplayer over the internet on a good list of games. I don't know if you saw the list, but it's a lot of games. It's a lot of games. Uh, but we will also be talking about the Sony Played Stations Cinco event. Um, I'm assuming you watched that, right? I did watch it. Uh, I watched it live, as they call it. Okay. You know what? Let's set this up real quick. Let's I'm going to put it... I, I forgot Turtle is technically very difficult. And I'm pretty sure the Turtle still sends people against you. So I'm just going to put it... Two easies. They're going to... Should they be on a team? No. No team. Okay. We're on the same team. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Now I need to go to game options. And it needs to Zach, be... Don't not talk about B or B. I don't know. Do we want to do a... I don't think we want a small map. I think I want to I want to do one of same one we played the other day when we tested or you want to do I don't want to do uh, navy. No, let's do something different. Yeah, I don't want to do navy yet. Oh, you can, did you crop out my breath in the uh, camera shot? No, I cropped them in. They were actually oh, off like, camera. Uh, I put them on camera. You just zoomed right in. Yeah, I put them on camera. I got to like lose some weight. Oh, it's gross. Get slip straight. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry folks, I'm just checking. I think I want Drake's Ravine, big map, we love it. Spawn is fixed. Team is locked, cheating off, civilians, enemy, fog of war. Explored, game speed, normal. Hi, hey, kids. Hi, stream mom. Hi, stream mom. I'm here. I'm here. And that's offensive. Um... Let's do, okay, we've got three options here. We have assassination, game ends when commander is destroyed. Supremacy, game ends when all structures, commanders, and engineers are destroyed. And annihilation, game ends when all units are destroyed. I'm tempted to go assassination, which is just commander. Yeah, assassination. So I think we we played this the other day. Um, no, that's not, that's not. Can you Can you click on your spot on the map? Uh, yeah. I think you might have to move. Let me do this. Oh, this is annoying. I thought I could. I... Wait, get rid of the AIs for a second. Because I could click around before you added the bridge. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's like they filled your position. Okay, you want to click now? Okay, there we go. So, uh, sorry, we're just doing the setup, but this is more important to do on stream, right? I feel like it is. Um, this is Supreme Commander. Unfortunately, I can't see the chat. I may be able to change that once we get into the game. But basically... Okay, I've got it up. Supreme Commander. This is Forged Alliance, which is the mod for it. I'm sorry, not the mod, the expansion. Um, I've been talking about this game for years. Is that right, Will? I feel like I have been talking about it for years. Yeah, if years were a month and a half since you mentioned it first. This is my favorite RTS of all time. I've been talking about it. We, we kind of had a gap in our stream schedule. I figured let's play some. It's also a good game to play while you're talking about other stuff, in a way, as long as you don't take it too seriously. But anyway, so we put the AI on easy. We're on a team. They're on their own. We're going to take this slow and we're just going to build 
we're going to build the biggest units in the game and then we're going to attack because we played a, a sample game earlier and we kind of took them out halfway through the game, but I think we want to get to the big stuff, right? Yeah, I want to get to the big boys. So let's go ahead and start the game. Um, I'm trying to fix my desk is very... So I have a story if we're ready for stories. Um, um, let's, let's get into that game. Okay. And then while I'm setting my graphics, you can tell your story. Great start of the stream. I think I'm a little bit flustered at the start of the stream because there's so much good stuff that's going to happen. We're going to play Supreme Commander. We're going to talk about the PS5. Will's going to tell a stupid story. I'm going to finish eating my dinner. we got a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, Zach says, Will is quiet compared to Lousy or Lousy Ian. Testing one, two. Yeah, I'll turn, uh, I'll turn might, Will up a little I bit. I might not have been talking directly into my mic. That's probably what it was. Probably. Okay, Will, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, this morning, uh, for breakfast, I had nothing. But then for lunch, I had a bowl of cereal. Uh, it was Dino Bites. It was very good. Um, I like... I've been using some oat milk. Oat milk's really good. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that's enough. For, I, I mean, okay. I didn't actually care. I just... Oh, okay. um, for my breakfast, I had a muffin, and I had... Got kind of a little bit of mango juice. I think that's good for me. Let me adjust my volume a little bit. Smidge, smidge. Okay, I think we're good now. Okay, you ready? I am 100% ready. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Okay. <laughs> what, you're waiting for me to hit ready? Yeah. <laughs> I... I, I didn't realize because uh, I had unchecked it so I can move my character. I forgot. Okay, sorry. I got to pause real quick and fix my graphics. Oh. D that doesn't happen to you every time you launch the game, it resets your graphics. No, because I'm smart and intelligent. Let, let's. Okay, let's not go too far here. Uh, okay, buddy, buddy. Hey, kids had a po hot pocket for breakfast. That sounds pretty good. Ooh. What kind of hot pocket? Yeah, which flavor? Yeah, do tell. Tell Tom. me what kind of hot pocket you. You put in your mouth. Tell me of the hot pockets in your mouth. Tell me of all the hot pockets in your mouth, sis. Well, that was... I'm, I apologize for that. That was too much. My lord, we have word of the hot pockets in his mouth. My god. You put that in your mouth, no, hold? I was hoping by the time I finished that sentence, I would there would be an answer in the chat. But there was not. Big forgiveness, my lord. Okay. Are you okay with being in charge of um, chat? There's a ham and cheese one. Uh, yes, I will be in charge of chat. Ham and cheese. Okay, so before we start, I just want to talk about this game a little bit. Let me let my commander spawn in. You said before you start. I know, oh. my, my commander wasn't spawned in. So you have your commander. He builds a bunch of stuff. There's three tech levels, tech one, tech two, and tech three. Um, they, they, let, they, they let you build more powerful and literally bigger units. Um, and then the economy in this game is all about mass, which are on these mass extraction points and energy. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Hey, you want to you do your initial... I think we can do our build order right now. Can we? Yeah. Oh. We're cheating a little bit. Uh, so I learned you don't... I thought you had to build power generators near things. But you no, just get I, an adjacency bonus. I think you get an adjacency bonus, but the other thing is the mass generators, I think you want to do mass storage next to them. Yeah. Okay, let me know when you're ready. The other thing is I think if you do... I think oh, they said no. control shift to... Oh, yeah, control shift right click to change the queue. To delete uh, something from the queue. Okay. Seconds. Let me know when you're good. Boom, 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 and then power. Okay, I'm good. Kicking it off. Here we go. 
You're gonna build. How do Five I inch. stop him from building? Ah, uh, you can just hit the stop, or you can just do something else. As soon as um, you said Let, "ready, let's go," it deleted everything I did. Wow, mine was fine. Well, if you click off of the guy, it gets rid of it all of it. No, you left click off of him. I, maybe I was still holding shift. I mean, if you do, if you right click off of him, then it'll cancel it too because it'll be moving. Oh, I just figured out how to rotate the map. Uh, how do you delete something? That's another thing I don't know. How to oh, do. uh, Control K. Was that a lie? No, I, I think it's Control K. Isn't it? Oh, this thing's half built, so maybe that's why I can't delete it. Oh, yeah. You have to, like, right click it with a unit to quote unquote reclaim it. Oh. Um, okay, so my story, um, so my desk was just messed up, I noticed, because I was sitting here last night, and Karen said, made a guttural, disgusting noise, and pointed, and above my desk was the largest cockroach I've ever seen in my entire life, uh, crawling up the wall. And That's so pretty I nasty. shoved my desk and flew backwards, and I had just realized that my, um... Since my desk is just two IKEA drawers and an IKEA slab on top, I had pushed it in. So it had like Oh, I've seen you. Yeah, up. I've seen you do that before. Um so I just had to fix it quick. But yeah, huge cockroach. It was not cool. So let's um let's talk about um Let's talk about PlayStation 5. What are your impressions of the console? Um, well, let's know, let's start with the the thing overall, you know. The thing I I thought overall it was awesome. I thought it was very cool. Okay. Uh I really enjoyed it. Um I thought the games they showed were really cool. Um there's a lot of awesome announcements. I mean, I can go through the games I thought that looked cool if you want me to. I wrote them down. Um, well, let's uh, let's 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 talk about the big reveal was the console, in particular, what it looks like. Yeah. Um, how you how you feeling about that? Ooh. Not great. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's very good either. I mean, it's not like the worst, but it. It just, you know, it looks like one of those concept cars. Yeah, where that... it's it's like an out of the wall design, but in practice or reality, it's it's like who yeah. cares, you know? Oh shoot! You know what you should really be doing? You should be building some power generators. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for for those of you who haven't seen it, I highly recommend going to look at it. It's bonkers. It's out there. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what I want to do next. Okay, big guy. Um, no price. No I was price. Say, I was about to say no name, but we, we've, we've known the name for a long time. <laughs> no name. <laughs> um. I don't know if you noticed, somebody did a an image comparison based on the size of the uh, Blu-ray slot. That thing is like two inches taller than the Series X, and the Series X was already pretty tall. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, and when you look at it, and you look at the controller, you realize, oh, yeah, that thing is tall. It's very tall. The other thing is, I mean, I assumed this, but I didn't know for sure until I saw pictures of it, marketing pictures. You can put it on its side. It just looks yeah. very, very stupid. It looks like somebody who is talking out of the side of their mouth when it's on its side. They showed it briefly in the thing. It's just uh, stupid looking. Um, yeah, it really is. But I think I don't really care what it looks like, to be honest with you. And um, what was I going to say? I think the other thing is 
I do think I have a slight bias towards um, towards Microsoft. I'll admit that. Mm -hmm. So, at the same time, I'm not that impressed with it. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it seemed, it seems such a weird design. Like, I, I get they're going for, like, cooling, but I wonder if, like, someone in the meeting was like, oh, man, if we design it to look like this, people think it cools even more. Yeah. Also, I, I, you know, looking at the design, it actually doesn't have a lot of cooling vents along it. It's only along the, the edges of the black. Or, but maybe on the top it has some cooling vents. I'm, I'm concerned about yeah. that thing not getting cooled enough. Because the Series X was like, hey, we're hitting these specs, and that's kind of why our console looks like this. Because we need to hit the we need to have massive cooling and accommodate the console design for it and it feels like they're not it, it doesn't quite feel like sony's accommodating that well yeah oh man is somebody shooting at me oh sorry i was just shooting okay i got scouts above their base i'm not attacking nice. i'm just taking a peek um yeah if you want to go through your list of games that I, okay so i think overall i think they did a better job than microsoft because they showed a lot more games they showed more exciting oh. games um i wasn't a big fan of the bumpers i thought the bumpers were kind of stupid yeah i xbox that's the one thing they do well it's just like it's like video after video after video uh, like bumpers with the people were fine but the weird like uh, did you watch the giant bomb feed? No, no, I watched it. Uh, I watched it flat. Just because every time those bumpers came up, uh, Jeff would do a bit where he's like, "So the the triangle actually me like the different meanings of the cross and the oh stuff." It was very funny. That's it's like funny. the first time he was the first time it popped up. He was like saying it facetiously, the true ones, but then yeah. he just started saying all fake ones. <laughs> and they can it's like the circle stands for tires which means car games yeah <laughs> um but uh yeah I, but the, I, the bumpers I, were weird yeah and i think i i was very surprised how many third party reveals they had like for example hitman 3 when i wasn't sure those were out there because xbox had a third party press conference they should have gotten those you know yeah. but they didn't and that's weird so that was that was kind of confusing to me. That, the other thing was like, as someone who wasn't huge into it. Uh, sorry, I haven't been reading chat, but I'll get to you in a second. Chat, um, like half those games, I was like, oh man, these PS4 exclusives are crazy. And then like it dawned on me a couple games in that I'm like, oh, these aren't exclusives. Yeah, they're just games they're showing on the PS5. Um, Stream Out says the main problem I have with the PS5 is the controller. Um, oh, yeah, I don't 100%. mind the controller as much as the console now. Um, and Hey Kids agreed. And then Stream Mom, there was actual gameplay shown for some of the games, which was massive issue. I, yeah, the Xbox Showcase, it might have been yep. in-game stuff, but they didn't show gameplay. Yeah. And I feel like Sony, I wonder if Sony did so much gameplay as a reaction to that. Probably. I could definitely see that. Um, so it was just, where'd my scout go? I have a scout at the green base. Oh, I see. Oh, he just got shot down. Never mind. I was not paying attention. I'm just making sure. Um, I, something I want to do in this game that I don't do very well is push. Push to those mass extractors. You know, if possible, I kind of want to get to, I kind of want to get to here and block them in. But that's a bit of a gamble. For right now, I'll settle for blocking them in here. Gotcha. Speaking of which, um, I'm gonna come up here and make some. Oh, this little animal. Hi. So yeah, games uh, that I thought I just wrote down games that stood out to me. Um, Demon Souls Remastered, kind of excited. Mm -hmm. Um just because I've always wanted to play Demon's Souls, and now this is kind of a chance I don't have to pull out my PS3 or anything like that. 
Um, Resident Evil 8 looked cool. It got leaked a while back. So, like, as soon as stuff started popping up, I was like, oh, is this RE8? Um, yeah. But I'm glad they're doing another style. Uh, Shady Socks here with the... Oh, with the PS5 exclusives. Uh, wow. Thank you, Shady Socks. You really typed all that stuff out. I'll just go Oh, we typed this. him. Yeah. Yeah, so the PS5 exclusives are Horizon Forbidden West, which seeing that makes me want to play Zero Dawn, which I think I might buy when it comes to Steam. Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which makes me want to finish Spider-Man. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. That looked the portal stuff with that looked really cool. Yeah, I was just um, it, it. It looked like more of a tech demo than something that's actually going to be good, though. That was kind of my concern. Yeah, but they were saying the at least like Vinny was saying, if that's what the gameplay is, then that's cool that you can just instantly do that. Yeah, although I don't I don't mean to continue uh, to, to crap on it. But the other thing was when you did the portal, I don't know if you noticed there was definitely a slight like five frame hitch. Oh, yeah, there was yeah. a jump. Yeah, and I was like, I if that's in there, I don't. Yeah, think I, I couldn't tell if that. that was editing or how. It's oh my be. god! What? Oh no, it's just civilians here. Where's civilians? I'm gonna I'm gonna go oh. take that. I'm taking that. Oh, I'm taking it. I'm moving a bunch of units up there. Um, sorry, you were you were saying stuff before. Uh, I'm just reading. You. So, Gran Turismo Seven, it's a card game. Uh, Sackboy, I really don't care about. Uh, oh, Returnal is a terrible name. I actually like it. Return Eternal, I kind of I like that. I I get it. It's just, it's just. Do you get it though? Yeah. Do you want me to explain it to you some more? No. Demon Souls remake, Astro's Playroom, I don't care. Godfall, it looked okay. What was Kina? Kina was the um the really the the girl and it was like oh 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 yeah, yeah that, that one looks, looks good cool. that looks good um then there was oh and now timed exclusive oh no no sorry also on PC oh I see what you're saying uh goodbye volcano high looked good Ghostwire Tokyo oh that jet the far shore really only piqued my interest because there was space in it. Is that the is that the one where it's it, like the years were counting by? Yeah, that one looked god awful. That was one of those games where it's like this this would barely make an indie showcase. Why is this in a PlayStation oh, Five I, reveal? I it looked cool, like going to all those plants, but we'll see but what the, it's like. The people, did you see the faces like at the start? Didn't look good. Yeah, I think it's more of an art art style than. Graphics. Yeah, it was just like that, that's the other those thing. Are the sword and sorcery people. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's that's the other thing. Um, what's going on with mine? Oh, maybe there's a remake uh, of Dark Souls. I, I didn't actually see. It probably is a remake because they're probably going to change it to be more like Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. It's um, not a it's not a remaster. It's a remake. Oh, these are console timed exclusives. Is Godfall, Kina. Goodbye Volcano High, Ghostwire Tokyo, Jet the yeah. Far Shore, um, Solar Ash, which is the Hyperlight Drifter. Shout out to Jake. Deathloop. Um, Little Devil Inside looked really cool. Um, and that Bug Snacks game looked. I I thought it was Viva Pinata for a second. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I can see. And that. then third party games that'll be almost certainly be on Xbox. Uh, Project Athea, which I know Gary Witta is part of. He announced that on Twitter. Um, GTA 5, who cares? Stray, which I'll come back to Stray. Uh, Oddworld Soulstorm, NBA 2K21, who cares, and Resident Evil Village. Um, the Stray game, which is that cat one, I saw the trailer open up. And I was like, man, I know this from somewhere. And mm -hmm. I realized it is a game that I've been following, quote unquote following, since 2015. Uh, I, I can't remember. It was called it was called Hong Kong. It's called mm -hmm. HK, and it, you were a cat exploring Hong Kong. And I think originally it was you're supposed to be exploring Kowloon Walled City, uh, which is what piqued my interest about it. And so they've been dark since January 2019, which I guess is when they probably got acquired or funded. Um, so it was really cool to see them 
uh, come back today and have all the announcements. And be like, hey, our game's on this Sony thing. So that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, Kena was the one with like the Pikmin stuff. That's what it was. Yeah, the, the only thing, that game looked good. The only thing was, I, I kept, okay, so my big problem with this press conference was it was a live stream and it was in 1080p. And I don't know if you had this issue, but it was getting compressed crap, like, like 3,000 bit rate. Because there were some scenes where there was so much compression artifacts that it didn't even look good as like a PS4 game. Oh, I, and didn't, it, I didn't have that at all. Oh yeah, it's especially later. It, and I, I made sure I was 1080p the whole time, but the live stream, it just kept dropping in compression. And it, it, it's like, what's the point of having a next gen in 2020, a next gen online press conference, if you can't even display clean 1080 images, let alone 4K. Yeah. And that was, that was pretty bonkers. Yeah, mine was um, mine was pretty fine the whole time. Um, and, and so it was just it was just very confusing because like that, the other it got me thinking about okay, what does next gen mean to me? And I don't think the graphics mean that much. There's very few games that are actually going to press the graphics. But for me, I think it's it's loading times with the SSD. But I think it's also um, I think it's also the. How do I put this? The the animations, it's also characters, how they are moving, how faces look, how lip syncing occurs, all these things that, that need to happen in order for a game to truly look incredible. Yeah. And I didn't see a lot of that. Like like the first next gen game that I saw that wowed me was Hellblade 2 Senua's a second dance. Uh, whatever it's called, uh, because the face and the lip tech was incredible. It was amazing. And I've seen a little bit of that in some of the PS5 games, but what's it called? Kenna? Uh, yeah. That game, it looked good, but the animations were not great. Like the animation smoothing, like she was like immediately hitching to different animations as she was moving around and jumping. And uh, that one says there are frame rate issues on the full video too. Yeah. So so that's that's what I mean is like it doesn't matter how good the game looks. I want to see if it still has janky animation or bad lip sync. I don't care if it's 8K 240 frames per second. It's still going to look bad. You know? Yeah. So I think that's my... that, that's the thing that I need to see from some next gen games and very few have done that. My uh, whole thing was, I was just looking to see like things, like the amount of things on screen or like the detail of stuff, because a lot yeah. of are like pop in and all that sort of things. Because I didn't see a ton of that. Uh, that might have been there, but I didn't notice a ton of it. So that to me, like, kind of shouts out stuff that they're focusing on to get rid of, like, or quick load times. Like, I didn't notice uh, things loading that taking that i mean obviously they're not going to oh, show yeah. load screens in a video but but they could have yeah yeah that's yeah. that's a good point they they focused on gameplay and mostly on graphics but they did not focus a lot on actual next gen only tech in a way yeah bro oh, who's shooting it yeah do you have do you have goobers you need taken care of where are all my other... oh. oh hey they made it okay can i upgrade my old engineers i don't Do they think upgrade so automatically no they don't upgrade automatically you have to build new ones really building a radar why am I in the hole so much okay I'm just trying to seal off this pass up here but I also need more mass. Wow, 
Uh, you know, build stuff really fast. Oh, also, in case you didn't notice, at top right, it tells you when you have idle engineers. Oh, yeah. That's great. My engineers aren't really doing much. Um... Yeah, so I, I I was really impressed by the the third parties they had doing announcements. That was that was great stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. A lot of those games I'm very excited for. Um, I wasn't necessarily excited for the PS5. I was more ex oh that weird, what's that game the the um, Pragmata, <laughs> which was. I thought it was a Hideo Kojima game for a second. Oh, yeah, that is 100% a Hideo Kojima game. I was like, it's Death like, Stranding? That is 1,000% a Hideo Kojima game. Nobody like, can tell me otherwise. is this? Yeah. Uh, I was like, is this Death Stranding? Because like, that guy looked like one of the... Whatever they're called in his new canon. The, like, suited armor guys. L Ludens? Like one of them. Ludens, that's what it is. I was like, is this, like... Chima thing? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah it's it very weird. weird. That game, I mean, it looked, the, the trailer was intriguing. I can't say it looks like it's going to be a good game because it was literally not. But, uh, yeah. And then what else was there? Um, yeah, so uh, like I was saying, it doesn't, yeah, it makes me si excited for video games because I always like seeing new video games, but it doesn't make me excited for the PS5 necessarily. Um, and yeah, it just, it's not a pretty baby. I'm sorry. No, definitely not. Really wasn't. Well. Oh, I got some. They're, they're tech two air, by the way. Okay. I have like no mass. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to get some more mass as well. I think once you get to tech three, you can do the mass generator, so you can get mass with power. Oh, gotcha. Maybe I should get the. That's land tech three, right? Uh, what? Well, no, tech tech three engineers or commander how do you upgrade your commander uh you i think it's on the bottom left if you click in your commander and then the bottom left and you do enhancements no i have personal teleporter personal stealth generator and resource allocation well check check the there's tabs at the top Customize, oh, customize left. Oh, I didn't know about all this. I shall call you Goober7. Go home. Okay, so their their bases aren't that great. I think I'm gonna upgrade my general to T3. I think this is gonna go ahead to T3 as well. Oh. There we. Go. Now he's doing better. Right 
guys build the map. Cool. I wish I could. I was moved up more because I would build some artillery. General's still upgrading. Hi, Karen. What's up? Oh, I'll let you know, Ian. Karen hit 100 on the Battle Pass, the Season 3 one. Oh, congratulations. I've been thinking about hopping back in a little bit. Yeah, they added, uh, there's like a big team battle, to use Halo terms, on Verdansk. Mm -hmm. What's up? It's a... Yeah, that's big. Karen doesn't know Halo 3. Uh, but yeah, I I downloaded the update because I was like, even though we're done with reality on this, I uh, still think I'm going to play it. Yeah, same here. I've been like at a weird stage where I don't know what game to play. Um... I'm kind of like floundering. I'm just playing like random games for 20 minutes. And then I'm like, eh, I don't want to play this. You know, I think, I think, Will, I think it's time for Yakuza 0. I, you know, I was honestly thinking that. Because it's on Game Pass. And I, I know you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I told you so. But I started playing Last of Us to record some stuff for Kyle. And I was like... It's kind of at the point where I'm like, I played Last of Us one time already, and I enjoyed it then. And, like, I keep dying. Like, I don't know what it is if I'm not, like, into it, but I keep dying and, like, not doing very well. And I'm like, I kind of yeah. don't want to play this game again because it's, like, uh, it's not the same in any sort of sense. But it's like watching a movie once that you know was pretty good. But if you watch it again, you'll probably be like, eh. Yeah, exactly. So... I don't necessarily want to watch more of it or play more of it, but I want to get to this part for Kyle so I can record it. Um, but yeah, I, I like I, I want to play Last of Us 2, but again, that's probably another game that I'll play once and be like, yeah, I'm good. Okay, those guys are building. Okay, time to. So they haven't this. pushed out too much, as far as I can tell. What are these guys? What is an engineer's... Oh. Come I got on. it. Just trying to punish their economy a little bit. Oh, see, I have... I have mass... Uh, mass fabricators on tech two yeah I'm but going i to don't tech have three. but i don't my race doesn't have i don't have mass uh, uh stores storage oh well are you sure that's not on tech one uh oh maybe it is on tech one do tech two things not have tech one stuff not necessarily and and they do change that by race like like there's some races that you may not have, like my race doesn't have a tech two air interceptor. Oh, I do have mass storage on one. 
Oh, so if I click on a tech two engineer, I can click down to tech one. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it, it'll build faster as well. Yeah, I didn't realize that. this game's tutorial. Not great. Though way better than the regular Supreme Commander's tutorial. I will say that. Okay, these guys are building, building, researching tech three. This guy is still doing his thing. I think, I don't actually know. Oh, yeah. General's done. Now I can build some mass fabricators. Yeah, I'm building a bunch of mass fabricators right now. Oh, you're tech three? No, my race gets it at tech two. That's what I was saying. Oh, that's nice. I can't remember what the... There's like a grid you're supposed to do. I can't remember what it is. You know what I mean? Like a build layout. No wonder I have a man. Bunch I of engineers. Um, I downloaded a game today called River World, by uh -huh. also by Cryo Interactive, the crack crack team behind Dragon Lore. Um, this game River World that is like a I can't tell if it's like a it's a third person RTS, I think, mm -hmm. and it looks absolutely atrocious, and I cannot wait to try it. <sighs> it looks so bad. It looks, you know what? I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it looks like the first uh, Slaves to Our Mock game, the the one they made before Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. It looks kind of like that. And it, oh, it just makes me Jeez. so happy. Okay. Where was my... Oh no, I'm low on power. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Mass fabricators take so much power. I forgot about that. Boom, tech three, baby. This is my strike force. You need to build a air staging facility. You shall build. Why don't you, you just come? You shall build. I've had a huge urge to watch the Lord of the Rings movies. Me too, but uh, I think we've talked about this. I'm only going to watch the, the theatrical cut. Yeah, with with no color grading and in 4K, which does not exist yet. You know, I watched a uh, thing that fixes the... Uh, it's the Fellowship as the green tint. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's like a... I don't, I don't think it was VLC. It's for another program, but you, like, plug it in. And it uh, does everything. Okay, where should I... If I were to set up artillery, where do you want it? Uh, do you want to put it around... Oops, sorry. Put it around here? I have yeah. a forward operating base there. I'm going to have a guy build... Okay, I think that
Oh yeah, my big boy is level three now. What's up? Hmm? <laughs> Nanite torpedo pressure. Anything for you, dude. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of power. Take. I'm at minus 52,000 power right now. Yeah, those mass fabricators. Ooh, they I just me. built a, a three. <laughs> oh, man. That was a terrible decision. Okay, you guys go build that. All right. My general's at tech three. I'm about to have air land at tech three. Okay, cool. How's how's chat doing by the way? I haven't heard from him in a uh, bit. Bye stream mom. He's gonna head out. Hi. We'll have a good day. How, oh, how big is artillery range? Oh, oh you're you're cool. building artillery, right? Yeah. There's man, I didn't realize it had to take so long to get over there. <gasps> Karen. Dare she? Oh man, my numbers are going wild. Oh yeah, Tech Three's up, baby. Tech Three, Air Factory. Okay, I turn my fabricator off for a second. Too much. Oh, you know what I need to build? I need some radar. Oh, every time I see your units around my forward operating base, I get paranoid. <laughs> okay, this guy, I think we need another. And that is not helping. Radar. Okay, I think it's time for... I kind of want to build... My numbers are going so crazy. No, wait, I need...
Oh wait, my land factory didn't fully upgrade? I did. else is using I can't figure out what's using all my math uh if you're so when you when you upgrade like your general and your engineers they're going to use more mass to build yeah so probably that artillery you're building no i stopped the artillery maybe it's see i stopped this and i'm still at negative 74 my building How you doing over there? Doing okay. I'm trying to get my mass back up. Didn't I build a... But it's going crazy. boy this is um intense. so i almost have an experimental up wow yeah you um i think you i mean you play this game have played this game a lot more than me yes I think you did that i just like i think i underestimate how much of the power stuff i need to build mm -hmm. like mass extractor everything Yeah, it's, it's hard to stay on top of the economy. And if you don't, then you get hurt. Yeah, like, my mass is stuck at minus 109 right now, trying to... And I'm trying to upgrade my mass at the same time. Yeah. Didn't I already build an Omni sensor? Or did I not? And I built one down here. game is good though i can see like i think i might keep playing this even after stream yeah it's it's good it's learning though and there's a lot of good shortcuts too oh heck yeah land factory's done It is done. How do you make that, big boy? The experimental? 
Yeah. So with your tech three, it'll be it'll be a tab to the right of the tech three tab. All right, let's see if I can go torch this guy's stuff here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Torch it over Maybe here. Tech. What did you build? Which so, experimental? So that is the satellite. So it's kind of like a death ray thing. So it lets me see a little bit, but um, if you look he here, I'm about to take it out. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I'm just going to take out his middle mass extractors. Okay. You're idle. So let's go. When I click on a mass extractor, Yes. And it has the... What are the two... Like, I click on Mass Extractor in there and it makes another one? It upgrades it. You can upgrade those to Tier 3. But it... It doesn't... The picture's not different, is... I don't... Yeah, I don't know if the picture's different, but the the hover over should... Hover over should tell you, like, Tier 2, Tier 3, or whatever. But some of them I can't do it to? I'm so confused. Uh -huh, you should be able to do them all of them. So if you click on it, if you hover over it, it'll say, like, Tech 1 Mass Extractor. In the build queue, you can click on it, and it becomes Tech 2, and it'll build the Tech 2. Hmm. I, I, think, I think you're just doing it wrong, because <laughs> it's not super complicated. Yeah, I don't know. It, okay, well, like it lets me do it once, but no well, yeah, you you do it once and it'll upgrade, and then once it's done with that one, then you can go to three. You can't you can't queue two and three back to back. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying when I click on it, it used to show it, but now it only has the middle of the three side tabs, and then I can click on Mass Extractor. Yes, and it just makes another one. No, it doesn't make another one. It's upgrading it to tier two. Or, or Tech 3. You see what I mean? You're upgrading that extractor to Tech 2 or Tech 3. Right, it just doesn't tell me that anymore. So that I have no way of knowing. You hover over it. If you hover over the mass extractor on the bottom left, it will tell you. No, it just says, oh, if you hover over that mass. Okay, well, I got to show you something. You ready? Um, I need you to look where my satellite is. You see where my satellite is? No, where's your satellite? Here. Ready? Yes. Strategic launch detected. Just wait. Nuke is on the way. Nice. Oh, I see it on the mini map. Oh, it's it's so slow, but it's so good. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Was that even an enemy base? No, because I, I could take them out right now, but I don't want to. <laughs> You're so cruel. Um, okay, so let's start building for our assault. I'm going to build a mobile factory. Copy. I have these nukes as a last resort, basically. So it has a nuke in it. 
I have the satellite. Actually, I'm going to put the satellite over their base and see what happens. Um, you, you have artillery being built, right? Or no, it's stalled. Uh, yeah, it's stalled right now. What's wrong with your economy? Uh, mass. Did you stop your... I would say just stop all building. I'll build something special. Something special. Yeah, it's just the thing is it'll... It'll take so much longer if you're stalled. There's some shortcut, I can't remember what it is, to select all of a unit on the map. Like, of one unit? Yeah, of one unit type. You, If you double-click on it. I think it's only visible, though, right? Uh, I don't know. I just, that's one of the notes try I it. down. Yeah, it's only visible. Maybe it's, maybe it's control double-click? Oh, yeah, I think it's control double-click. They did the whole thing in the tutorial about... You can select groups to, like, control one through ten. Yeah. Yeah, so if you control double click, it will select every unit of that type on the map. Oh, my God. I'm going to move this behemoth out here because it's funny. I have this... It's like a giant tank that is also a land factory. <laughs> so... So when it's, and it has a shield dome too. All right, I feel like we can trigger the end game at any time. So I think okay, we get... I'm almost ready. Yeah, we get your experimental. We get my experimental. My experimental is slow, but it's on the way. We walk in there with our big armies. We wipe some stuff out. And then um, we do whatever we want. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. Oh, I think my satellite died. Oh, no, it's back. Oh, no. It's still alive. Uh, what? It's maybe the wrong question, but what tech do I have to research to get the... Oh, maybe not. Mass extractor. Well, just don't... It's not researching tech. It's just three tech levels. That's it. Right, but... I, I don't know if I just don't have a tech level three of mass extractors. Or, you, okay, oh no, now I do. That's, yeah. That's weird. Oh, well, that's what I was saying is you have you have to upgrade it to two, and then once it's done upgrading to two, then you can upgrade it to three. You can't queue right. it to do like no, two no, no, and no. three. I, I get that, but they were all at two, and there was no three option. I I'm not. They were probably. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's what? Wow. Wait. I'm so confused. Why? I, I don't even know now. Okay. Here. Oh, I forgot. There's also a... Oh. Control-L selects all land units. 
control a selects all air units that's handy I'm, I'm building your artillery for you, by the way. Oh, no, I just reassigned my guys on it. Oh, well, I mean, I have guys on it, too. Oh, gotcha. This is dirty. So in, in more difficult games, what I'd like to do was, um, you know, those like tech two tactical missile launchers. Mm -hmm. I'd like to build like a battery of nine of them together. And then you like use your air to take out their missile defense and then you just pound them and you like creep those towards their base. So they're just within range. They're so good because they're not as expensive as nukes. Oh, God. Yeah, so when we played, um, there's this really difficult AI mod you can get for this. And my friend and I, we got to the point where we played like 2v1 with that. And that Ooh. enemy is just constantly sending units. Like you, you are always getting units sent at you. They're like five seconds apart. And they just go up through the tech levels. And then they start dropping off transports full of troops all around your base. So it's like you have to turtle up just to survive and then at some point break out and take them. Jeez. And it's it's like yeah, it's so difficult. Did you, did you just beat another game on stream? <laughs> Karen, what is that supposed to mean? I beat a lot of games. Uh, Karen beat Red Dead Redemption Two on stream, and now she just beat God of War on stream. <laughs> she can't help it. Hmm. I did want to say one thing about 52 games. Or is it 51? I don't remember. 51 game? Um, I am a little disappointed that some of the games are, have, like, variety and rule set, play sets and difficulty levels. And then other games are just, like, one and done. I wish they offered yeah. that, that depth in all of them. I'll agree to that. Because I, just... I feel like I've beaten that game. Like, I've mastered, like, the games that I want to master. 
and the and the other ones are a mix of they don't have a mastery level and ones that I don't really enjoy. So I'm just kind of like, okay, well now it just becomes like a time waster, you know? There's no more progression. Yeah, yeah like the Takoyaki one has a, a spot for different card like looks. And mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a different mini game I have to play to unlock different cards. No, it's I, I don't it's the guides give you presents, but I don't know what unlocks that. It's just that sometimes when I finish a game, uh, they're like so and so guide has a present for you. But the guides seem useless because But maybe the, if you do all the games the guide suggests. But I've done all the games. Uh, I've played all of the games at least once. So that's the thing is the guides are kind of useless now, even though they're still yeah. there. I do like that you like earn a fact every time you finish a game yeah some of the facts are real stupid which i feel like plays into it <laughs> yeah. it's like you beat the game here's a stupid fact what did you expect yeah oh, I, go on. I see your mega bot i got yeah, my factory spider bot okay let the me spider finish bot lays eggs let me finish my artillery he can lay engineer eggs if i want him to oh yeah so mine is mine is a factory <laughs> that makes things isn't that crazy so yeah he makes engineers bricks i don't know what those are and look he just laid an egg it's oh so my cute. goodness oh. he makes artillery jeez yeah let's finish your artillery finish my artillery i don't artillery. even know if it's gonna reach i don't think it is it's not gonna reach I... their bases i just realized so i'm building the experimental artillery which lets me um hit anywhere oh that's not... look a little engineer popped out so cute oh and it's tech three that's good yeah Oh. Yeah, I'm low in mass. That's why this is taking forever. Yeah, me too. Let's uh, let's go move up to the to the chokehold. To uh, here. And then I'm going to take all of my air units and do a little scouting. Through here. Oh, nice. You got New Game Plus, Karen. Okay, so your artillery's done. build a quantum gateway yeah that lets you bring in a support commander which i think is only slightly less powerful but he's basically commander because that's that's an early game strategy if you want to be ballsy is you you upgrade your commander a little bit give him some support units and then storm the other person's base <laughs> so you can like you can assassinate their commander with your commander kind of like what i did on stream or no i'm not on stream the other day during the practice Oh, your little spiders get wrecked. Yeah, they get wrecked. Those gunships. You know what? I'm gonna assign my air units to protect your bot. Okay, I'm at positive mass. I was for a little bit, so my artillery should be getting built faster. In the meantime, um, I'm just gonna do that. Strategic launch detected. Uh oh. Who was that? Was that you? Yeah. Where are you hitting? Uh, I'm hitting. 
here. Spider bot. Spider bot. Shoots whatever spider bot does. It's his web. Spider bot. Oh, you moron. Okay, how do you want to do this attack? You want to divvy it up? Or... We go in together? Um... Whatever you're feeling. Let's... Let's go in together, because that's better for stream. Yeah, I just pretty much got my spider bot. Yeah, but I can give you cover. I'm building more units right now, but I don't know if they'll be ready. I still have a couple minutes on artillery. My artillery's firing. Time is it? Oh, it's ten seventeen. Wow, this game flies. Yeah, this game's great. Oh no, did we no. have any anti-air? Oh, you need anti-air? I can lay some anti-airs. Yeah, lay some anti-airs. I think we have some, maybe. I can lay all sorts of eggs. Where are you going, bud? Did your nuke hit? Yeah. Oh, it did. Where's my satellite? My satellite's over their base. Wait, oh, your your artillery is... Is that your artillery? Where? Your artillery is, like, taking out their base. Which one? The green base. So, oh, so my, really? my satellite's doing stuff, but it's mostly your artillery. Uh, I'm an idiot. The artillery? I've been only looking at the inner circle. Yeah, I'm guessing that's your artillery. Yeah, because my yeah, no, are it smaller. is because there's a huge outer circle that I didn't even realize was a thing. Yeah, he's wrecking them. Let's go. Let's go in on green then. I laid enough eggs. Go artillery, go. Oh, that's why I want you to assist. I keep right clicking on the factory, and these. Units were just going weird, but it's because it can, it can carry a bunch of stuff. Uh, go help Mama Spider. Uh oh. I think my <laughs> artillery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go let's still let's still cruise through space. <laughs> That's fantastic. Bad artillery. <laughs> yeah, let's go see what he's got going on over here. Oh, he just got rid of all of his buildings because he died. Oh. Let's turn around? Yeah, I'm going to red. Jeez. Turn your artillery oh, off. Man. You gotta you gotta turn your artillery off. Oh he, now he's firing again. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> I can't believe Wait, that. wait. No. Red commander's over here. Where? He's right here. Oh no. Spider bot! 
I don't want to do that. Let's let's go. Let's let's go to the base. Okay, let's go to the base. Yeah. I turned. Is he not stopping? Can't you just do stop? I did do stop. You may have to destroy him. I don't think he's firing anymore. Nope, he's firing. How do I? You said control K. Yeah. Oh, and you hold it down. Oh no, my guys, my artillery is up and firing now. Okay, he's down. Everybody follow mama. I'm having my, uh, I built a forward land base and I set the building point to the enemy base. So they oh, just get okay. built and run over there. Nice. Oh, your artillery's firing. I know, I'm trying to get him to stop. I don't want to die. I had to blow mine up. Wow, it's so big. My artillery? Yeah. Yeah. That's the experimental. It has no range limit. That's insane. That's crazy. Where is my uh, commander in chief? There he is. If we play this again, we got to up the difficulty just because I didn't realize how easy this would be. They barely expanded. It's still so slow, though. Yeah, oh, you mean the game overall? But I kind of like that. Yeah. Gives you time to build this up. This actually makes me really want to check out, again, that planetary annihilation. Just because it has that extra layer of, like, crashing planets into each other. Yeah. It's not quite as good as this, but it's still pretty good. Apparently there is a range limit, says Fedora Freak 1 in the chat. Oh, for, uh... For my artillery, my experimental. For Mavor, he says. Let me check out and yeah. see that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Mavor. I wonder on bigger maps if, if it shows up. Yeah. Yeah, because there's still a pretty active multiplayer community for this game. Oh, your bot is so much faster than me. My little babies are catching up, too. My power's at negative 43,000 right now. Wow. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, because my, because my big boy is trying to build self-teleportation. That's Oh. Why. And he's almost done with it. Come on, big boy. Yeah. How do you teleport? How oh, do I make teleport? I blew up. I think I blew up my own. Oh, my satellite's still there. I forget. It's one of the buttons, I think. Oh, here it is. Wait. Teleport. Can I just have him teleport to us? I think so. 
Oh man, my my baby boy's shooting. My skelly. Where's my spy plates? <gasps> he teleported. Yeah. Dope. That's crazy. My guy can teleport. Nice. Oh, there he is. There's enemy commander. How did you find him? Yeah. He's still over there? Oh. Or where is oh. He just went. He just went. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, what a fantastic game. That was pretty good. Yeah, we played it pretty easy. So, so I've never gotten really good at this game. Really good levels is the game is nowhere near as static as that. You need to have like 20 groups roving the map, building stuff. You've got all these forward operation points, these defense points, and you're like attacking each other and the commander's roving around. But uh, oh. great stuff. How yeah, you feeling? Fun. Yeah, that's... I feel really good. Mm, 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 mm. That's a good day. That's a good game. I'm down. Yeah, I think it's by far my favorite RTS. It just has a lot of really good mechanics in it, really good tech tree. It's good stuff. Um, awesome. So that's going to do it for us this evening. But before we leave, as I give our outro, you guys have any PS5 questions in the chat, throw them out there. If you want our hot takes, our opinions, anything that you want to say, throw it out there. We'll, we'll get to it. But ladies and gentlemen, we are Subpixel. Uh, you can find us at subpixelfilms.com. We like to stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Because today's Thursday, that means our next stream is Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing Fiasco, which is a fantastic cooperative storytelling tabletop RPG game. Um, we'll be doing Dragon Slayers with four people this time. Jimmy and a special guest will be returning. Um, and uh, Dragon Slayers is kind of like a and d esque uh, setting. It's going to be a lot of fun. Will, is there a stream between now and then? Um, no. I was going to stream tomorrow, but I um, can't fit it into my schedule because I have to do laundry tomorrow. Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, folks, you can go to subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube page. That's where you can find a lot of our stream archives, but also a whole bunch of edited videos. We've got videos up about art and animal crossing about the perfect demo about dwarf fortress all sorts of stuff we've got documentaries we've got stream archives we've got will and i playing weird games we've got us playing like the the snes mini as well as a fake snes mini all sorts of yeah. stuff like that uh that's at subpixelfilms.com if you want to follow us on twitch facebook mixer instagram or twitter apologies for the mic noises i've got a kitty over here then you can excuse me kitty don't you push that microphone away? Um, let me let me tilt this camera down here. Bad kitty. There's that Who's kitty. Bad kitty. Um, let me tilt the camera back. You can find us on Twitch, Facebook, Mixer, Instagram, and Twitter at Subpixel Team. Um, I highly recommend following us on those platforms. In particular, though, Twitter. That's where we tease new projects. We tweet about streams before they go live, hours before they go live. For example, this stream we tweeted about 3 p.m. today to let you know it's coming up. Um, and if you want to follow us personally, you can follow me on Twitter at Think Gibson. You can follow Will on Twitter at Hunt270. Folks, I'm going to leave you with a tease before we get to your chat. Tease. We have tease. a brand new show about this thing right here. The thing he's holding. It's an 8mm camcorder and high 8mm. We have a show coming up. We just have to figure out our name. Will, I think, I think after the stream... We have to make mm -hmm. our short list, and we have to propose it to the rest of the subpixel team. It's got to happen. Okay. It's got to happen. But that show's coming up soon. We're not sure when, but we do have a show coming out right now, and it's the Halo <laughs> CE Let's Play. Will and I took more than a year to beat Halo 1. We recorded the entire thing, the entire. and it's coming out. I think part six came out today. Seven. Maybe it's part seven today. It's nine parts. It part ends seven, on Saturday. Yeah. If you go to subpixelfilms.com... You can see all of that. Anything from the chat on PS5 before we give our ending? Um, or anything? Only if you build it in the extreme corner of the map does the uh, 
Mavor have an 81 kilometer. Uh, oh, so you do like a big map, put it in the corner. Yeah. So that's that that cool. screams to me that the game doesn't know unlimited, so the developer just made it as big as possible. And then people started and making didn't think big someone maps. would build it in a corner. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, folks, that's going to do it for us here tonight. Um, Will, how are you feeling about PS5 in general? Feeling, uh, you know, I'm excited for games mm -hmm. uh, more than I'm excited for the PS5. As of right now, if I were to buy a console this holiday season, it would be the Xbox, uh, yeah. Xbox Series X. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy something this holiday season. Well, I probably will, but... Um, yeah, it's probably going to be that. Also, with the rumors of Sony adding not everything, but some stuff to Steam, um, that's kind of changing it up for me. But uh, yeah, PS5, uh, incredible showcase today, uh, despite anything else. Um, I thought it was great. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm right there with you. If I were to buy a console this, this holiday, it would be the Xbox Series X because it has better backwards compatibility and Game Pass is a hell of a deal. You basically get that console... And as long as you have a Game Pass subscription or even buy one right then and there, you're going to get a whole lot of games for much cheaper yeah. right out of the gate than you will with the uh, the PlayStation. And, um, you know, I think it's there's two things. If Spider-Man is a launch title, which it's not necessarily all they said was holiday 2020. And if Gran Turismo 7 is a launch title, which is not likely that they didn't even have a date for it. I will probably buy a PS5 at launch. But other than that, that launch lineup is not strong enough for me, especially since those games still cost $60 each. And you what can do you get think them. Price? price? Oh, you know, I, I've, I've been a strong 500 contender. 500 for, for each of them. Here's the problem. I heard a report earlier this week that that SSD that PS5 keeps touting is very expensive for them because it's actually a better SSD than the Series X. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, slightly better, but still better. And the problem is that may drive that price cost up. So people were saying six to 700, which is bad price. Bad price That's for a crazy. console that okay. looks like that, and you still got to buy games on top of it? No. So you, you think they'll be the same? I think Xbox will be cheaper. I don't think it'll be $100 cheaper, but I think it will be cheaper. Uh, well, I'm not saying the same price necessarily. I'm just saying I think 500 that's oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's me saying like it could be. I don't see it going less than five hundred for me. What do you think the difference between the discless and the disc PS Five? Fifty uh, you bucks. Know? Yeah, I'll go fifty. It can't be a hundred. There's no way. It it's could, People are like, it, it'll be a hundred. It could 100. be. It could be a hundred because disc drive plus different body plus um, the Blu-ray. Uh, licensing cost that's at least a couple bucks per console they wouldn't have to do that with the digital I think it's 50, 50. Are you, would you go drive or or, uh, or digital it all depends on backwards compatibility because I have discs of PS4 games I have discs of PS3 games um, yeah but I think I don't I don't think that there's no way they're going to support disc-based PS4 games on a digital-only PS5. That would be very surprising. That requires a lot of no, infrastructure and checking. I'm saying it's, it could be the same thing with an Xbox where I put the disc in and it says, oh, you own this game, let me download it. Oh, you're, yeah, so you're, you, yeah. You're saying That's the disc saying. the disc drive only matters because you want to play PS4 games on it. But a PS4 backwards, the backwards compatibility with PS4 games is not that good then you don't care about the disc yeah yeah exactly see i i would always go disc because the thing is like i just bought granted this is a, a bit of an extreme case but i've done it before i bought three games for five dollars each and yeah. two of two of them i'm playing on my xbox one no sorry sorry two of the two of them are current gen and they're disc games that I got for cheap that I have not seen that cheap as digital. And I've done that as well when Target has their like buy two get one free games. And that yeah, lets I you get buy that stuff. I, I'm more of a like if I'm buying digital, it's because it's on sale. Yeah. Like, and, and and I think it's not that I prefer 
physical over digital or one or the other. It's just that I like having access to both yeah. sales pools. Exactly. Um, and that's big. That's big. I, I can't see not getting a disk drive right now. Yeah, 100%. I, I could see... There's a joke in here somewhere, but I just want to say that console's not good looking. It's not. It's not. It's not. And that controller's not good looking either. <laughs> that controller just looks like a really good third party Xbox One controller, that's all. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> just really gross. Like, hey, I'm and happy. I'm sad they... that it is because if it looked mm -hmm. good, I'd be all for Sony. See, that's but... the thing. I'm definitely, I, I'm starting to realize I have a bias towards Xbox and I'm not really sure, but at the same time, I. No. Oh, I totally I have a bias see. towards Xbox, but I'm saying I'd be happy for Sony. Yeah, if they uh, nailed it. Yeah, if they were if really they trying to afford it. it. And which, at the beginning of that thing today where they were showing gameplay, I'm like, man, Xbox messed up. Yeah, Who especially cares? with. With all the rumors saying Final Fantasy VII Part Two, Final Fantasy XVI, all this stuff that I don't necessarily care about, but that are big press conference items, even though they didn't yeah. they didn't happen, but at the beginning of the press conference, it felt like they were, and that was yeah. big. Um, instead, we got uh, Ratchet and Clank Twelve, whatever. They, who cares? That's basically Have you Clank. Ever played a Ratchet and Clank game? Yes, I played an hour of the remake. That was okay, based I've on never touched one, so I, I have no, I have I no just, point of reference. Yeah, it's it's basically um, it's basically clack, clack. Is that what it's called? Give me a second clack. here. Clank? No. Clank? Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clack. PS3, PS4 launch title, from Cerny. Knack. 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 It's basically Knack Three. That's what that's what Ratchet and Clank. This one is. It's Knack Three. That's what it looks like. What? Does that make sense? It looks like family Knack friendly, two. family friendly, kitty, kitty platformer. That's more of a tech demo for the new console than anything else. Isn't Ratchet and Clank not family friendly? I mean, it has guns, so it's like. Isn't it like up your arsenal? Yeah, but it's not mature. Oh. It's not. It's, it's not conquer. Oh, okay. Well, I, I didn't say it was Conquer. Well, you you literally just said it was Conquer, Will. You literally... I did not. I said up your arsenal. <laughs> Isn't that Ratchet and Clank? I keep forgetting you can't see my camera. I um, can't see your cam. Listen, can we end this? I got to go to bed. Really? I kind of want to keep talking. I feel like we didn't talk about PS5 at all. Oh, okay. We can keep talking. I'll snuggle blue. I Something that is very surprising to me. Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo. Both of them Bethesda... Softworks published games are timed PlayStation 5 exclusives. That, yeah, that is, is very surprising. surprising. Very surprising. Um, also, going to be honest with you, opening with Grand Theft Auto 5, bad idea. Terrible idea. Because when it showed Rockstar and then they started showing GTA 5 gameplay, I was like, maybe they're leading into GTA 6? Maybe? And it was no. It was just Skyrim for the 15th console yeah that's um, that's that's something you put in the middle and you say oh by the way we have this which okay shady socks will get to you in a second uh, actually ian you think about this what do you think of the size and thermals of the ps5 um with skyrim i so i own skyrim i bought on the 360 i have it on my pc i have the like collectors i have it on pc twice because i have that uh bethesda when they did the edition that came with every Elder Scrolls game, I got that for cheap at one point. But I just want to buy Skyrim on my Xbox One, not for any reason other than playing it again and getting achievements. I just want to play it again, and I figured if I'm going to play Skyrim again, might as well do it and get achievements at the same time because I'm messed up in the head. But it will not go below $20. I'm not paying $20 for Skyrim in 2020. Yeah, that I will is... Pay like I would pay at most. I have a five dollar coupon that's about to expire. Maybe I'll pay fifteen. Probably not. I would pay five or ten, but I'm not paying twenty dollars for Skyrim yeah, again. Anyways, the size and thermals of the PS5. I'll go first. The size of the PS5. Ian said it was bigger than the Xbox One X, which I can't really. Or Xbox Series X. Man, Microsoft, name your things properly. Um, I'm a fan of Xbox, and they still come on. Um. The thermals, like, 
have they i haven't really seen the numbers on it but i know they said they designed it to be cooler in the sense of cooled temperature not cooler because it looks like an anatomical part of a person's body um i don't know ian what are your thoughts uh just real quick you told me before the reddit how do you get to a reddit deleted post what is it again oh you type uh move after re so remove edit oh okay. say. hey Oh, this got deleted. Sorry, yeah, I'm just. I'm, nice, but... I have I have my screen up for the the stream as well. Oh. I'm trying to. Shady find... Socks just posted a great uh, image for the size comparison. Yes, that's the one I was trying to find. So Thank if you, you look Socks. at that, sorry, Nightbot yelled at you. That is. Oh what, that it's... is ginormous. Yeah, I I think this image may be a little off though because that Xbox One controller looks smaller then the, the Xbox controller looks smaller than the PlayStation one, and I, I would assume that it'd be roughly the same size. But it's still much taller. It's several inches taller. Isn't That's that crazy? crazy? Yeah, I there's think... No, there's no way it's that big. I think, I think this is off slightly, because the other thing they can do is they can pair... They can compare by the USB slots. Oh, yeah. Which, um, why do you have a USB 3 and a USB C, like... It's just a weird half step. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a better image for you guys. Also, from what I can tell is that weird stand underneath, you need that in order to be horizontal or vertical. And I'm assuming it detaches, which means that thing's getting lost immediately. Yeah. Or in 20 years, when I go to flea markets, nobody will have that. Yeah. So shady shady socks. I agree with you on the thermals. Like if you if you look at it, it just has these, I'd say maybe a centimeter wide vents that are running up halfway up the front of it, and I'm assuming all the way up the top of it. That is not enough. That is definitely not enough. Whereas the Series X has that. Like it's, if I had to guess, it's probably like a hundred and twenty millimeter or a hundred forty millimeter fan that is going to sit on the top of that Series X and blow it out that that huge grade at the top which yeah. granted it could be loud it, it's it, it but it's i don't think it's going to have thermal problems it's built around cooling and that ps5 is not so it's either going to get hot and have problems or it's going to be loud there's no way it's that big so there was people are saying the xbox series x has a wider disc slot but I'm seeing other ones here. I'll post this one in the chat. That looks like it has... Um, I'm not sure how good that one is. Problem is I'm, I'm finding ones, but they're like deleted. That makes sense. Yeah, it still just seems huge. Yeah, that's... That's a big, that's a honker. So, unless surprise, it's a mini disc port, <laughs> and then it's a, it a very, tiny <laughs> a very tiny controller. A very tiny controller. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's a little baby controller. <laughs> yeah, but look at that. Look oh. at that USB drive. Do you want to do some? Oh well, you can't see my screen. I just, I don't get the. USB-C with a USB-3. Well, the USB-C is fast charge. That USB-A no, does know, not support. But, but why don't you just do two USB-Cs? Because because you still want to support um, like normal drives. I don't want to support them. A normal thumb drive. Who has a USB-C thumb drive? I'll put it on the back, I'm saying. Well, but the thing about the thumb drive is you're like... I mean, a I'm, thumb drive, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I kind of see what you're saying, but at the same time, I, I don't mind. I think it's just coming from a design perspective. You know, the more I look at it, it's not, it's terrible when it's on its side, but it's not terrible upright. It looks like a clam on its side. It looks like a lady's clam. Did you see the, the fob washed? He did like a psst, come over here. <laughs> look, it looks yeah. like a guy talking out the side of his mouth. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I, I, I'm happy they had a good press conference. Um, I just, I really wanted price. Yeah, I did too. 
and now we're in this weird game of chicken where they're they're trying to figure out who's going to say price first but man yeah, i, don't I wonder know. when's the next opportunity for anyone i guess well, at july Microsoft's july is, thing but so far all they've said is that's first party game studios they haven't explicitly said they're going to talk price but at the same time they revealed the console at the game awards so microsoft is i think they're slightly on their on the back foot now because playstation came out with a much better press conference and they have timed exclusives but microsoft can still do whatever they want like they've been doing so I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Nintendo's uh, next gen answer is when they do a press conference <laughs> the next month or two. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch Micro. <laughs> oh boy. I guess we should end it here. I think we've talked ourselves silly on the PS5. I'm glad you guys watched. Uh, I'm glad we finally got to play some Supreme Commander. Folks, we're Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. Oh, that was a that was like a softball pitch. I thought you were going to yell at me for closing again. Um... Oh, are you closing again? Hey, um, I started editing Dwarf Fortress Oak Crafts Part 2 today. So be on the lookout for that. Probably I'm trying to get it done for next week. Um, I just got to figure out some drawing artist issues. Oh, yeah, um, that reminds me. We've we've got to make that short list of eight of eight millimeter names. Oh, yeah, we should totally do that. Right after this. Goodbye, folks.